was largely middle class, at least in Bucharest, students, liberal professions, leaning towards the center right. But in the same time, it was a concert of voices, including left-wing voices. It was against corruption and against the governing party, which is formed by the Social Democrats, who are considered to be the heirs of the Communist Party in Maine. And they're considered to be the most corrupt party because they're also the biggest one. The Social Democrats won by 45% of the vote the last parliament elections. It has the roots of authoritarian rule in its genes. They might be tempted to go for the Hungarian and the Polish model, sidelining the opposition, limiting mass media. So it was a fight for the very essence of uh, Romanian democracy. There was no discussion about this bill. No discussion about it. The bill was so targeted towards the interests of the social democrats that everybody went crazy. Personally, I heard about it on Facebook and we started marching in the streets one week ahead of the bill being passed. These protests were organized all over the country, but there was no central leadership or central hierarchy. The recent years, there was this constant string of protests. 2012, with the anti austerity protests, we had a across the board 25% cut in the salary in the public sector. It was a very small growth uh, as compared to the ones we saw up. It was in the order of thousands of people. And then we had in 2013 a rather large protest against the Rocha Montana gold mining project. Transylvania. The government pushed for a special law allowing the mining to go on, suspending the existing legislation. People opposed that special law. Now we were talking about tens of thousands, and the government withdrew. That was a big, big thing. After that, we had a string of protests. The biggest one before this one in February was in 2015 when we had a large fire, and the protest after the fire brought down the government. So during these years, people became very familiar with the places of protests. Uh, they are peaceful, they are in front of the government building, and everyone is free to bring their own placards. So you don't really need much organization. But this time, it was the sheer size that surprised everyone. First, the Minister of Justice resigned, and second, they withdrew the emergency ordinance. There was a huge relief, but also in a sense of victory. The protests largely helped the center-right parties, even though they were not the ones to actually stop the government. The right have a very rigid perspective on reality. We have the good people and the bad people, and we have to take the bad people and lock them away, and then we solve the problem. There is no question about the social causes that led to the bad behavior. We have a lot of social problems that nobody even talks about. Multinational corporations should pay taxes like the other Romanian corporations. 50% of our children drop out of school. 70% of our workers gain 300 euros a month. We made important gains while protesting against the bill, people were successful, and this is a huge step forward. <laughs>